Nerd Soul. Oh, yeah. Lay ill kid at one. You're still holding it down. Bringing that street geek and nerd soul. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's go with some nerd soul gaming. Having a good old time. We going to um talk about a tweet from the FGC. You know what I'm saying? The FGC on Twitter, man, y'all, boy, look. Look, we, we're not by ourselves. Before I get started all the way, we're not by ourselves. Open Mind will be dropping by to drop some thoughts on this tweet as well in just a second. But a while back, before Street Fighter VI dropped and before Mortal Kombat dropped, and of course Tekken is on the way, I said that we as the FGC are living in a great time when we have three main titles on the horizon that we can all enjoy street fighter 6 or street fighter big dog mortal kombat big dog tekken big dog there is a game out there for all of us to play if you don't like street fighter you're most likely like tekken if you don't like tekken you're most likely like mortal kombat if you don't like Mortal Kombat, you're most likely, you, you, you get what I'm saying, all right? There's going to be something out there for you because the big three are back and they're all releasing like within a year of each other. So everybody's going to have something to play, something to enjoy, whether it's single player, whether you're doing tricks for videos, or whether you're playing online ranked or you're going to tournaments or you're doing, you know, uh, like comedy content for FTC, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're doing combo videos, whatever it is, you've got something to enjoy. And I remember saying in that video, I said, I don't want to hear no crying, no complaining, no whining, no moaning, because we got brand new games. And they all look great. This is, I, I don't play Mortal Kombat like that. I haven't played Mortal Kombat since Mortal Kombat 3. I know it's been a long time, but the game looks incredible. I have well, I I have Street Fighter Six, but I honestly have not had time to play it because I've moved twice within the last within the last year. But I have it. But it looks incredible. It looks fun. There's tons of you know the arcade. You get to walk around, and do stuff, and then you get to play the regular game. There's tons of stuff, right? And then Tekken looks incredible, man. Like it, I don't, I don't know what y'all want. So with that said, coming to this tweet. From the FGC, shouts, uh, shouts to at Griffey Bones. Um, he says, Street Fighter fans on Twitter in June 2023. Quote, wow, Street Fighter 6 is definitely the most feature and content rich game on launch in the entire series. Street Fighter fans on Twitter, October 2023. Where are the new character costumes, Capcom? Why only avatar costumes? Are you even doing anything? Bruh, look, he, look, look, Griffey, Griffey ain't told no lies on this. Griffey ain't told no lies on none of y'all butts on this, all right? Now, I don't know Griffey Bones personally. I, I don't know if Griffey's cool or not, but I know one thing. He told, he told on y'all on this, and I told y'all, Street Fighter Six has tons of stuff to do. Y'all cannot be happy. Y'all don't appreciate nothing. I think that's what this video is about. This, with this, with this podcast, audio, video, whatever you want to call it, guys, we have to appreciate something. Now, now, don't get me wrong. The the suits that are being made, or the outfits, the you know, the skins, they should be spread out. They should. They should be, you know, they should be sprinkling them for the avatars and then also sprinkling them for the actual characters. So that, I will say, is a gripe that I feel is valid and a gripe that I feel is, should be echoed to Capcom to be like, bruh, like, yo, y'all, we got mad avatar stuff. Like, yo, the, the characters ain't got, they ain't getting that love. So I do see that. But I'm just saying it every time I turn around with Street Fighter 6, especially in these last month, it's been complaint after complaint after complaint. So, yes, the characters need their suits. Believe that. The characters need their suits because the avatars, the avatar world is getting tons of suits. And, I, you know, they ain't, they ain't really hooking up. 
the character, you know, Ken and Rashi, you know what I'm saying, Cammy, like where the where the new fits. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know what I'm saying? How, where, you know, you got to give Chen Li something so she can go Macy's and get fly. Give her something. You know what I'm saying? Give E Honda a, a, a new, you know what I'm saying? Some new, new drip to, to roll with. But, unfortunately, going back to the whole appreciation thing, I think that this is just another straw that I'm like, bro, we complaining again? Even though this one is actually on the valid side, it's just that. There's so many complaints about this game that actually is dope. It's kind of like, come on, bro. Now, with that said, yo, Capcom, just give, give them some suits, man. Come on, give them some suits. Because the idea is, from a dev, imagine if, imagine if you made something. Say if you made something for a friend of yours or your mom, dad, brother, sister, somebody, right? And, they, and you, you gave it to them. Say you uh, made, I don't know, uh, you was... You know, you made them like a, I don't know, a sandwich, all right? And they, you made them a, a sandwich before, aka Street Fighter Five, and they was always complaining about that sandwich. They was like, "Oh, I don't want this sandwich. I want the new sandwich, man. You've been making the same sandwich for the last five, you know, seven years. I want a brand new sandwich, yo." And you done, you did everything you could to the sandwich. You added on DLC, aka you added maybe tomatoes. Maybe you gave him some romaine lettuce. You put in some salt and pepper. You did everything to make that sandwich fly, but that, that they just don't want it no more. All right? So then you say, you know what? I'm going to make you a new sandwich, all right? Just hold on hold on on the old sandwich. Keep that Street Fighter Five. We're going to give you one more one more update, all right? I'm going to toast the bun for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to toast it a little bit, but, you know, I'm going to give you a little update in Luke. It ain't going to be anything, but I'm going to give you a new one. Then... You go and make them a brand. They've been crying about that old sandwich. You made them a brand new sandwich. And this time, not only did you give them a sandwich, you gave them a sandwich. It's like a double-decker sandwich. It's three pieces of bread and meat and cheese and all kinds of, all the favorite things they like, right? And then you even gave them extra stuff. You gave them a little bit of chips on the side, maybe some sweet and, uh, sweet and hot pickles and, then, and, and, a, and a drink, their favorite drink, whether it's lemonade, iced tea, Coke, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? You gave them the favorite drink. You gave them a whole a smorgasbord of meals, right? Like you went straight, straight to the delicatessen. All right, you gave them everything, and then at first they're like, "Oh man, oh you went above and beyond. You did so much." And then after they take like two, three bites of it, they start immediately hating on it. How you gonna feel? You gonna be like, "Bro, you said you wanted something new. I gave you something new, and I gave you all the hotness. I gave you mad extras. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff on the side, little pieces that I know you like, and now you up in here hating." Guys, we like we gotta appreciate the games that we get. Like the work and time that goes into some, and, it, and it's dope. Like it's not like Street Fighter Six is is you know it's it's not like the game doesn't start up when you play it or or when you turn it on like your characters just disappear or something like just some crazy old glitch stuff that used to happen back in the days, like. The game runs and it's running well. The, like the the rollback netcode, the, the literal like play modes, play styles. They got oh I ain't even gonna get into the modern controls issue, but they got they different got control schemes to be able to play with. You can customize like bruh, you got everything you could ask for in this game. And I'm pretty sure Mortal Kombat 2, I haven't really dove into it, but I'm pretty sure, you know, Mortal Kombat got dope stuff too. I'm sure they got all kinds of modes and things that you can do and add on. But all I see is complaints. That's all y'all be doing. Like, for real. How we go, How we gonna want the FGC to grow? If every time you come to the FGC, all you see is complaints. Imagine, imagine someone on the outside looking in. Someone like, you know what? I kind of like fighting games. Maybe I want to get into it. And they look at the community and all they see is continual crying about stuff over and over. Now, people complaining that the game is trash because they can't win or the, the game is trash because it's too easy. But remember, Street Fighter, remember when the Street Fighter 5 came out, it was too easy because Street Fighter 4 was better. And then Street Fighter 4 was too easy because Street Fighter 3 was better. Every, look, I know everything was better yesterday, y'all, but look. We got to embrace the new stuff, all right? Y'all don't want to get left in the past. Like, embrace the new stuff. Why I got to come down here and tell y'all this? Why Griffey Bones got to tell y'all this? 
come on now. Griffey Bones told y'all look. Basically what I told y'all months ago. Before Street Fighter 6 dropped, Griffey Bones came and said, look. Why y'all? He, he called y'all out. Why y'all complaining? We got, bro, we got the world in the palm of our hands. We got, look, we can play with anybody in the world. You can play with somebody. You can be in America, play with someone in Canada, Thailand, Botswana, I don't know, Ghana, Jamaica, wherever you want it, Guatemala, something. All right, you can play with anybody anywhere, all right? Then you can play a whole little like, outside mode where you can go in the real world and, or the, the fake, you know, the Street Fighter world and walk around and beat people up. You can do tons of stuff. You can go to the arcade and play older, like, Capcom games. Bruh, we got to appreciate things, yo. For real. We got we to gotta appreciate stuff. I ain't even, you, you know what? I'm not even going to yell at y'all. Because FGC, usually, you know y'all be acting up on Twitter. And I got to come in here. I got to yell at y'all. I got to be mad. Open mind. I got to be mad. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, when Open Mind come in, matter of fact, you know what? Speaking of that, I'm going to let Open Mind come in right now. So in responding to Jiffy Bones' tweet about how Street Fighter 6 is not giving out, you know, character costume content, um, I kind of agree with it because, you know, it's been four months and they're actually creating costume and avatar items, I, I, avatar items for, you know, the avatar character, which is fine and great, but, you know, there's a whole roster of characters here that don't have anything but the default stuff you gave us with the launch. So I'm thinking Capcom is just doing this, their, their normal greed thing, right? They can't say that the costumes aren't available because you're sitting in the lab somewhere creating costumes for avatars, right? And these costumes have to be, you know, universal in size because each avatar is universal in size, you know? So you have to design that costume for an avatar that whoever wears the, the costume and has to fit them for the size of their avatar. And that's all fine and great. You're sitting in, in your studio at the Capcom studio designing costume and cosmetics for Avatar. Why can't you do that for the character? Why not? This is not a license thing where you need to get a license to release content because you're, you know, you don't own the rights to it or something. It's not one of those situations. This is a situation where we own the, the rights to Ken and Ryu and Dial and Chun Lee and everybody else. These are our characters. We can make a costume for them whenever we want to, and put it out whenever we want to. So it makes no sense, really, outside of it just being corporate greed. This spells corporate greed. So I'm not really, and where I stand at the tweet, I don't really see anything wrong with what's said. You know, because the tweet may have been designed to attack the, the gamers, saying, you know, in the beginning, this feature rich, content rich, and now we want costumes. You know, it's like, I can see where it makes the, the, the community looks contradictive and hypocritical, but at the same time, there is some there is some validity to that statement. Capcom is continuously putting out new avatar items. Every two weeks, I post Street Fighter re 6 religiously. Every two weeks, there's notifications saying, hey, don't forget to download the new avatar item. You go to the shop and it's real life money for it. And I thought I'm gonna buy it, but th it's there. And, and it's been four months, and I tell you, there has been, there is so much, so many different avatar costume items. You got samurai suits, you got the Ninja Turtles, you got all types of stuff. There is so much content in the avatar side. So there is, the, the content is feature rich on the avatar side, but there's no feature rich content for the actual game main roster. And that's a little biased. Capcom is going out of their way to make sure that the people in the battlehood can dress up their avatars. They don't care about making their characters look good. So, you know, this is why I stand on it. I, I, I don't disagree with the tweet. I'm neutral, but I actually do understand where the tweet is coming from. So I'm not 100%, you know, like, like, like co-signing or endorsing the tweet. And I'm not dismissing it either. There is some truth to it. Like, Capcom, bro, it's been four months. We don't want your Ninja Turtle costumes. We don't want your Avatar stuff. 
lot of us are not playing Avatar Battles. I play Avatar Battles every now and then, but, you know, Avatar Battles are starting to get dull and boring because everybody's just running around draining the clock. So, you know, a typical Avatar Battle um, on Street Fighter Six consists of a time over because the, the person you're fighting is running from you. Nobody is really trying to empty each other's health bars. Everybody's just trying to get life lead and beat you with a life lead with the time over instead of just emptying your health bar and getting the KO um, animation for your screen. So Avatar battles four months into the game are now boring because everybody's level 100 with their Avatar and nobody's really trying to fight it. Everybody's just trying to troll. And there's no incentive to win. There's no penalty for losing. So what are we doing really? We're just wasting time running around BS. And I just feel like, you know, your costumes and avatar costumes don't matter. I'm not I'm not using my avatar like that. I'm playing the actual game. I so that's it. That's that's his yo, that's his side, that's how he feel about it. I'ma let you know, I'ma let it rock. What he said look, he said what he said. So <laughs> like look. Uh, man, y'all be making me want to fuss at y'all, but I don't even. Uh, look, I'm look, I'm y'all uncle status, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't come, I don't want to come in here, take off the belt every time. You know what I'm saying? Every time y'all acting up, I just want to honestly ask y'all, why don't y'all want to appreciate anything? Like, whenever it comes to games, especially in the FGC. You, you ask for something, that thing is given to you, and then you immediately follow it with complaints. You don't follow, I, I rarely, if ever, see the community, by and large, you know, thanking and congratulating and appreciating these devs, these publishers that are bringing stuff out. They ain't gotta make no game. They, Capcom ain't gotta make nothing. Now, I mean, of course, of course, Capcom wants to make money, but they ain't gotta make Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter is not the only game that they can make. And it probably ain't the only game that they can make money from. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we ain't guaranteed no Street Fighter. Like, so, it, the game ain't trash just because you can't win. The game ain't trash just because you ain't got a new outfit. The, the game ain't trash because you don't like modern controls. Like, this game has so much work love care into it there's tons of characters that are unique and weird and cool like you got all kinds of special moves and like cami look dope you got the the new girl to be slithering on the ground you got like come on man zangief even looking hard this time like bruh come on zangief all right y'all know i i ain't a big geek fan but this this time around he looking he looking extra sick i gotta give him his props but Y'all, come on. We gotta appreciate something. Straight, same thing with Mortal Kombat. Like, NRS, I know NRS does not, they don't really, they don't really appreciate their, their fans as much as I think Capcom does. But there's tons of man hours that go into Mortal Kombat. The story mode, the writing the story mode, doing the voice acting, doing the, like, bruh, come on, y'all. We gotta appreciate something for real like we we got to change this mindset now i know a lot of us you know a lot of us watch pro players and pro players have different um they have a they have a different angle that they approach the game in, and they have their complaints which might be valid hey that's up to them that's their thing i'm not here to argue the validity of their arguments but we have to make sure that their gripes and complaints don't become ours. We don't live their life. We're not competing for we're not competing for a living. And honestly, the amount of pro players that are operating at a level where they're doing it for a living is so small that it's not even important on a business scale to design stuff for them. If you enjoy the game, Please do not allow the thoughts, ideas, gripes, complaints of players that don't even utilize the game in the way that you do, don't approach the game the way that you do, 
and don't even have any relevant info based on how you utilize the game in like in practice not in theory but in practice like you're not you're not spending you know 40 50 hours to prep for the tournament this weekend you're not doing that the game is dope enjoy it now they might have a pot they might have a possible gripe i'm not going to get into that but what i am saying is that i see a lot of echoed sentiments of pro players to the point that it really makes me wonder if people truly have these problems or if people just want to parrot out what they've heard from their favorite pro player. We gotta appreciate stuff, y'all. We gotta appreciate it. The game, the game is dope. It's here. Tekken on the way. I see y'all already, already complaining about Tekken. Come on, y'all. We gotta appreciate stuff. So you know what? I, I ain't gonna fuss at y'all. I'm just saying, look, we gotta appreciate stuff. Until next time. <laughs> This is Open Mind and myself to you. Enjoy some Street Fighter, y'all. Enjoy. You know what? If you can't enjoy Street Fighter, find something you can enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need for you to be mad all the time. Just find something you can enjoy. If 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 Street Fighter 3 is the best game you ever played in your life and, and nothing to go on ever touch that, just play Street Fighter 3. Don't play Street Fighter 6. Don't you ain't gotta be unhappy. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to be happy. I want y'all to live. You know what I'm saying? I want I want y'all to enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? If if y'all want to play Street Fighter Alpha or something like that, play play Alpha Three, and don't worry about Six. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be playing Six if you don't want to play Six. Ain't no need for you to be playing, and be mad all the time. So, guys, the word for the day is appreciate you know for the word for the rest of the year it ain't even that long for the rest of the year can y'all just say appreciation appreciate what you got all right you got you got you got a new game go on and appreciate the game ain't been out for but two days and y'all already complaining (sighs) love all y'all y'all stay real n-e-r-d-s-o-u-l facebook instagram twitter tiktok podcast all that jazz and until the next time that you have the perfect parry a drive rush or a sonic boom or whatever or do a do a throw loop this is from us to you saying peace <laughs>